Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jennifer Gianni, and we're going to look at an exercise where the, the spine and the pelvis stay pretty neutral, and we're moving the shape forward and back and side to side um, through the maneuvering of the femur heads. So this is really good because it creates um, all sorts of lubrication in the hip sockets, and it also helps us to find the diagonals, the diagonal spaces and movement in the hip socket, um, because as we know in everyday life, that's what's gonna happen. It's not always so linear. So I, you can do this on your hands and knees or you can do it on the forearms and knees. I like today, I like to do it on my forearms. So you're gonna set yourself up in neutral. The feet can be flat or the toes can be tucked under. So first, I wanna move my spine and my pelvis back. So I have more hip flexion. And then I'm gonna come forward Right? So I'm moving into hip extension. If I want to go further into that, I'm going to have my arms a little bit more out in front of me. Right? So I'm going to move back and I'm going to move forward. So more into hip extension. And I really have to use um, my whole torso here to support. So back, hip flexion, forward, trying to keep my front body into my back body as I come into a little bit more hip extension. And then after this, then you can start to move in diagonals. So I'm going to think about bringing my right sits bone past my right heel and then coming back to center. And then bringing my wide left sitting bone, kind of shining it past my left heel and coming forward. We'll do that one more time. So right sitting bone past the right heel, still reaching with my breastbone and coming forward and left wide lifted sitting bone past my left heel, keep opening my collarbone, blooming my heart forward and moving forward. So that, those are a few examples. There's many, many more, but in an all four points position to be able to move and um, really organize in a neutral pelvis and a neutral spine, and it's the legs that are doing the locomotion. It's the femur heads inside the pelvis that's doing the locomotion to bring that shape of the spine pelvis forward, to bring that shape of the spine pelvis back, and then to bring that shape on a diagonal side to side, still driven from the legs. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.